For today, we're going to be doing a tier list of every single Call of Duty game. Four. We're going to base it off of game modes in the Call of Duty game. Obviously, every Call of Duty game. Most Call of Duty game modes have games. I don't know why I said game modes. Have three game modes in them. For, for some Call of Duty games, obviously, the newer ones have four game modes. But we're going to count Battle Royale the same as multiplayer for that be considered not a higher rating and uh, for f tier means there's no good game mode e tier means one game mode is okay d tier means there's two okay game modes c tier means there's one good game mode b tier means there's one good game mode and one okay game mode a tier means uh, the two good game modes and s tier obviously masterpiece there's nothing really wrong with the game but let's just get straight into the list and obviously as you can tell they're already all f tier <laughs> no i'm only joking let's actually start this for real but anyway let's start the call of duty advanced warfare because it's the first call of duty game that's on this list uh, for let's see what sucks about let's start the advanced warfare campaign it's not a bad campaign hang on i'm gonna get rid of this real quick off topic it's not a bad campaign, but it's certainly not the best. For let's talk about the multiplayer. Multiplayer on Advanced Warfare sucks, and this the set third game mode is special ops. Kind of, you have to buy DLCs to actually play the zombies, which will affect the rating. For because of that, you have to buy DLCs to experience the full game. <laughs> Wait, let's be honest guys, you can't experience a cold Call of Duty game like buying DLCs nowadays or without waiting. Anyway, for we're gonna give it a E tier. I think it has one okay game mode. I think the campaign's on K, but the rest of the game sucks. Call of Duty World War 2, people are gonna hate what I'm gonna put this at. But I think the Call of Duty World War 2 campaign sucks. It's the second worst COD campaign out there. I'm sorry. In fact, no. I'm being too nice. Third worst COD campaign. Because I think, even though BO4 doesn't have a campaign, that the, what's called operator stories are terrible. I'd say, for what would I give Call of Duty World War 2's multiplayer? I would say it's an okay multiplayer, it's by far not the best, but it's not, by far not the worst. The zombies, probably the worst zombies, for, I would even give Exo Zombies a higher rating for, we'll give it an E tier. It sucks, really bad. It's a really bad Call of Duty game, just like Advanced Warfare, just like all Sledgehammer games. The only game that I'm glad, I'm actually really glad that Sledgehammer got kicked out, honestly, because our games are freaking terrible. I'm sorry, Sledgehammer, but your games suck. Maybe you'll do better, like Michael Cordenly, if you ever, if Activision ever does get you to be to make a new game. We'll see though. Time will tell. Call of Duty Black Ops Three. Campaign sucks. Multiplayer is okay, and Zombies is really good, no Gravicles can get rid of Zombies. Multiplayer is okay, I actually really like Black Ops 3 multiplayer because it's got pay to win in it. Uh, I've, I've got to put the multiplayer unfortunately down, because it's got very bad microtransactions. So does kind of Zombies, but Zombies is playable like Gold Games. Multiplayer. This is well, but it's not that fun. And if you're not bruising the Brecky, or the VMP, or the Vesper, or something like that. The multiplayer is not really that fun in Black Ops because <laughs> the DLC wins. Plus, they don't nerf them. Anyway, Black Ops 3 does have extra game modes, so Nightmare sucks. Arc Dead Ops Arcade 2 is not actually quite good, to be honest. And what's the third game mode? Free for all. I guess it gets you good at Warren. Four. I'll give it a B tier. I think it has one good game mode, one okay game mode. And one not bad game mode. I would give it a C tier, but because it has extra game modes, I would give it higher. Plus, it has emblem editor, and it also has uh, you can create your own emblems, you can create your own theater, even though the theater is a downgrade from Black Ops 2. It's still usable. All right. Call of Duty 4. Hmm. COD 4. What do I think about Call of Duty 4? Call of Duty 4 obviously only has two game modes, and they're both amazing. Both really good game once the campaign's really good and the multiplayer's really good. For I would give it a B tier, but I think if Call of Duty 4 had a third game mode, I think it'd be like Modern Warfare 2 Special Ops, which is 
oak mediocre for I would give it a higher rating than Black Ops 3, but Modern Warfare Remastered. Oh, oh, kinda ruined COD 4. Kinda did. Because of the supply drops and all that. 4. I'm sorry, if it wasn't for Modern Warfare Remastered, it would get an A tier. Because of Modern Warfare Remastered, it's only get a B tier. Anyway, Call of Duty Ghosts. Campaign? Okay. Uh, what's the other game modes? And why can I not think multiplayer? Bad. An extinction. It's okay. Uh, if I give it a D tier, I'd say it's a better game than Advanced Warfare and World War Two, but not by much. Not by much. Anyway, let's go to the next Call of Duty game. Call of Duty One. Call of Duty One is a PC exclusive. And to be completely honest with you, I've not played Call of Duty 1. <laughs> For, uh, but it's kind of a rip off of Medal of Honor, and Medal of Honor games were far better than Call of Duty games back in the day. Plus, Medal of Honor was on console, I'm pretty sure, originally. Call of Duty wasn't. When it comes to console, I don't think so. Uh, Big Red One or something like that. For, uh, I don't really know about Call of Duty 1. Not really personally playing it. Uh, but we'll give it a ranking. I would say it's a D tier Call of Duty game. I'd probably say it's quite it's quite glitchy and quite buggy, and yeah, certain better games in it. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Three. Hmm. Let's talk about this. Campaign's good. Multiplayer. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not the best. It's not bad, but it's not the best. Uh, and Special Ops is pretty decent. To be honest, I, I think Modern Warfare 3 did Infected the best. And I think Modern Warfare 3 did the best for how many game modes they added into multiplayer during its life cycle. But I didn't like the Season Pass formula. Four. What would I give it? Hmm. What would I give it? What would I give Modern Warfare 3? <sighs> Uh, probably a B tier. I do think it kind of deserves C, but I think it's still a decent Call of Duty game. I go back and play every now and then. It's not bad. Call of Duty 3. Let's talk about Call of Duty 2 in fact first before we talk about Call of Duty 3. Because Call of Duty 3. Call of Duty 2. Uh, if, if you got the Xbox 360 at launch, you would experience this game. It's quite a good game. It's actually quite a good, it's probably the best Call of Duty game of the original trilogy. Campaign's quite good, the multiplayer's quite good. Um, it's certainly not bad, it's better than COD 4 or anything like that. For, I'm going to give it a C tier. I think it's not a bad game. Uh, Call of Duty 3. Campaign's okay. By the way, Trout made Call of Duty 3, by the way. Just to let y'all know. Ah. Anyway. For let's talk about campaigns, okay, multiplayer's okay. Uh, it's, it's not a bad Call of Duty game, but but it's quite annoying. Especially if you play it on the PlayStation 3 and you got to do the, you know, the the dual shock thing, where you got to use, like, the controller. Like, the actual controller, you got to move the controller around. Like, it was such a horrible thing PlayStation 3 had at launch. For, yeah, it was quite annoying. It was probably... The, the worst of the original trilogy. If I give it a D. Ooh, this this is arguably the best Call of Duty game and the worst Call of Duty game. It depends who you are, but I'm sorry. Modern Warfare, in my opinion, is probably one of the worst Call of Duty games. But let's talk about the game modes first. Campaign's good. <gasps> multiplayer and Warzone. Multiplayer is kind of bad. Warzone's okay. If I would give the multiplayer an okay game mode. And special ops sucks. And if the multiplayer didn't have SPM and didn't have corner space and didn't have all that nonsense, C tier. I'd say. Say it's better than Ghost, I'd say it's better than all these games. Call of Duty Black Ops 4. <sighs> didn't really have a campaign. The specialist stories sucked. Um. Multiplayer, 
their EP to win. But it was... Mm, 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 man, it was nah, it's alright. It's okay. And zombies. Eh, mm, 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 mm. uh, fuck. Kinda sucks. Really badly. Uh, if I had to go, to be honest, I don't like Modern Warfare, but I... Oh, fuck. This is a hard decision. Nah, I'm sorry. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 sucks. <laughs> it's, it's, it sucks. And people that like it, they just change so much. They change so much bad things. Like, the zombies and the multiplayer, they just change so much. They just changed far too much for people that did not like it. Because they just changed far too much. Anyway, let's talk about the next game. Infinite Warfare. I didn't realise that. I thought, oh, for some reason, I thought COD 1 came in 2003. Yeah, that's it. Well, I know Call of a yearly franchise, but for some reason, I had a mad feeling when it was a two year. When it first came out, it's kind of sad it came out the same year as Halo 2. <laughs> no wonder nobody liked it. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um, Infinite Warfare. I've not actually played the Infinite Warfare campaign. Wow! You've not played it? You need to really play the Infinite Warfare campaign. Tell me about it. I do. I know I do. Does the campaign suck? Mm, not a bad campaign. I heard it's a good campaign. For I'll say it's good. Multiplayer is bad and zombies is okay. But do I think it's better than these two games? Why am I pointing my fingers? You can't, I can't see that. <laughs> do you think it's better than these games? Mm, nah. So I'll give it a D here. I think that's fair. Anyway. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Oh, good game. Anyway, campaign's really good. Multiplayer's very broken, but very good. And the special ops is meh, mediocre. So I would give the game an A tier. Certainly not the best. And it's certainly not the worst. Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2. Okay. Multiple is arguably the best campaign. And arguably the best multiplayer. I would say Black Ops is better multiplayer. Because they removed a lot of silly features like combat training and all that. Um, and the quad point system and that. The original quad point system. Not the new one. Um. Hmm. I'd give the game. But the zombies, okay, let's talk about the zombies. I would say the zombies is okay. This is going to trigger zombie fanboys. That, like the Smith plays and two pro for your games. Black Ops 2 fanatics. They are Black Ops 2 fanatics. I hate to say it. I play Black Ops 2 a lot more. I play Black Ops 1. And even I know Black Ops 1 is a better game. Anyway, for, let's talk about the zombies. For it's got transit, diaries, and Nuke Town. The maps suck ass. It's got origins and Mob the Dead, which are going to be the best maps. And I'd say Buried is not Buried, it's an E tier map. I'm sorry, Buried is not an amazing map, it's a mid tier map. Uh, for that reason, because it has really bad maps and it has really good maps, I'm sorry. I can't, I would say it's the worst zombie we need. Apart from this game. <laughs> A tier. Call of Duty World at War. Oh, I really like this Call of Duty game. Let's talk about the campaign. Campaign's good. Zombies is good, but glitchy. And multiplayer is good, but quite annoying with the MP4 and all that. So it's God for the M16. Because <laughs> all the glitches in the game does put mod support on PC, so we'll have to give it that as a positive. I'll give the game B tier. Okay, so let's talk about Black Ops. Before we talk about Black Ops 1, if you guys have Black Ops 2 on PC and you don't use Platorian, the game runs so bad. It just crashes like when you change game mode, it just freezes, it's really bad. And this is on like modern computers. I don't know if Black Ops 2 struggles to handle Windows 10. And I thought they got like 2019 specs on my PC for. But it's only Black Ops 2 that does it. 
for yeah, it doesn't have mod support either. If, pretty much that can be considered Black Ops 2 is a terrible PC port. I'm sorry. Better PC port and Zombies is better, it'd probably be arguably the best game, not the best game. <laughs> Call of Duty Black Ops 1. I can tell you a little story about Black Ops 1. So before I got Black Ops 1, did you know that the game I got the game at launch and they get the disc didn't work. But we gave it back to the game store, game store at the time because I actually went to game stores back in twenty. Who didn't go to game stores back then? Let's be honest. Who, <laughs> nobody does that nowadays, obviously, because of reasons. That's why I don't understand why Microsoft bought it in America. Anyway, um, for I didn't actually play the game till a couple of weeks before the thing came out. Black Ops Two, and I played Black Ops Two more than one, but it's a better game. And there's nothing wrong about Black Ops One. Good campaign, good multiplayer, arguably the best multiplayer, that's so much customization. See, nobody takes that into consideration. Black Ops 1 multiplayer is so underappreciated for these little kids. They don't understand it. Sure, the gameplay is not the best, I would make an argument that Black Ops 2 multiplayer had better gameplay. But, it's not the best. Sniping sucks, but who cares? That's probably why people don't like Black Ops 1 multiplayer, because it's sniping sucks. Who the fuck cares about Snipe and Zombies? Zombies was actually really good. Mixed the DLCs for hard and casual maps. And throughout the maps, it improves the story. And just think of the bright side. Well, people slag Jimmy Solinsky for bad maps. But, then Jason Blundell. But you know what Jimmy Solinsky didn't do that Jason Blundell? He might have released arguably the two worst maps of all time. But Jason Blundell released... One, two, three, four. Pretty much more than half of Black Ops for zombie maps it sucked. Think about that. Think about that. Just think about that. Yeah. Yeah, that's why. Anyway, for Black Ops 1, as I said, yeah, it's just... It's just a great game. Anyway, I think that's us for the video. Um, obviously, if you do around here, subscribe for um, content. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't say daily content. We'll see. I might, I might stream daily. I might stream later on today. I might not. We'll see. Uh, we'll find out later on today. Um, let's talk about. Obviously, and leave a like as well while you're at it and also put down your opinion put down your list in the comment section what do you think the best Call of Duty game is and what do you think the best worst Call of Duty game please base it off of get the whole game as a whole not off of game modes people always base the games off of game modes and it's cool but it's not the most accurate format anyway see y'all next time peace out